Hey guys, thank you so much for taking your time out to watch this video in particular. But let me give you an update on a channel called Sport City. Yes, Sport City. It is a channel dedicated to everything related to Jamaican sports. Football, cricket, athletics, netball, rugby league, rugby union, tennis, lacrosse, swimming, you name it, we got it on Sport City. And what is the channel designed to do? It is designed to highlight Jamaican talents across all of those sporting disciplines. If you're a Jamaican and you're playing that sport, then we got you covered on Sport City. So it's quite simple, guys. Hit the subscribe button to Sport City right now. This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. I see the comments and I will be coming to them right away before going into the news. So let me address the comments first and then I will get into the action of the news for today so far. So good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is doing well and had a productive Monday to Friday this week and you are all refreshed, get some rest and ready ahead of what lies ahead. Chavan Peart, we got boss. Good morning, Simon, hope all is well. Are you aware if the Under-17 tournament will be streamed or televised? So yes, the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship will be shown on ESPN. It will be shown on ESPN starting today. As it relates to streaming online, a decision has not been made as yet by CONCACAF if they will be streaming the games on their YouTube channel. But one thing that we know for sure is that the game will be on ESPN. That's where, you know, that, on ESPN, that's where it will be. So for television, that's where it will be. But CONCACAF's YouTube channel, no decision, no update as it relates to that matter in particular. But definitely it will be on ESPN. I hope that helps in the grand scheme of things. Anthony Manzano, how are you doing, sir? Hope you're doing well. I yes, Abdi, hope you are doing well too. Simon, I'm predicting the USA and Jamaica in the finals of the Under-17 World Cup. Under-17 qualifiers? That would mean that Jamaica would have to top the group, United States top their group, and they go unbeaten through. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, so now in relation to this in particular, it's a tough ask. It's a really, really tough ask to say, get to the final. You know, there's so much hurdles to overcome. And I think getting to the quarterfinals and winning a quarterfinal, that in itself will be a euphoric moment and the emotion and everything of the celebration to bring that intensity of the high celebration of qualifying for the under 17 World Cup and to play two days later in a semi final. Uh, I'm not saying that Jamaica cannot win a semi final and get to the final, but just the highs and the emotions of qualifying for the, the under 17 World Cup, winning a quarterfinal, it would take away from that moment of, get, of of winning a semi-final, you know, the urge. I don't want to say that the team would go into that game wanting to lose, but the emotions and, and the quick turnaround of games, I think it's just a lot to ask for. So qualifying for the World Cup, that's the first objective, and that is the main objective. Anything else that comes after that is gravy, is brought up. You know what I'm saying? So the, the, all, the, the ultimate objective is to qualify for the Under-17 World Cup. Anything that comes after that, Winning the Under-17 Championship, that's a bonus, but it doesn't add to anything. It's not like it would help Jamaica qualify for the Olympic Games. That was at the Under-20 Championship, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, man. 
So that's basically the things. My four teams, I predict Peru, Jamaica, USA, and Suriname. Okay. Jamaica, USA, Suriname, and Mexico. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I would say United States, Canada, Mexico. And a fourth team, it could be could be Honduras, could be Jamaica, could be Panama, and could be Haiti. One of those in particular. So that's what we can look out for. Exciting, exciting times ahead. It's Jamaica, and just to give you guys an update as well as it relates to the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship, Jamaica plays at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Right, their first game, 5 p.m. Jamaica time tomorrow. And all of Jamaica's games in the group stages will be taking place at the same venue. Jamaica will play at Estadio Doroteo Gaumuch Flores Stadium in Guatemala City. So all of their games in the group stages will be at the same venue. It's an athletics stadium. It was built to host the 1948 Central American and Caribbean Games. Well, it was built to host 1950 CAC Games. It was built in 1940. And this is the venue that is used. It's a capacity of 26,000. 26,000. And it's a, it's a stadium that has some history behind it. You know, I have to go back to 1996, where in a 1998 qualifying match between Guatemala and Costa Rica, 83 people were killed. And more than 140 were injured in a number as there was basically a human avalanche in the stands, you know. There were there was the sale of counterfeit tickets that led to excess in attendance, improper design of the building, the event of an emergency caused the fans to stampede and fall onto each other and causing many to suffocate. And it's today regarded one of the worst tragedies to have occurred in a at a sports venue. That's Costa Rica versus Guatemala at this very, very venue. Won't I'm I'm a, a million percent confident this won't happen for the Concord Under 17 Championship. But just to give a bit of insight as to the venue in particular, it's a track and field stadium, but you know it has a good pitch as well, so something that we can look out for. So that's the situation there. Now Jamaica's arrival in Guatemala. They are, the the second contingent. They arrived shortly after 11 p.m. So they arrived shortly after 11 p.m. last night, and now they're getting into proceedings in terms of their preparation. A little breakfast this morning, some physio work, training in the afternoon, back at the hotel, some video analysis, and then the team will take the field for the game the very, very next day. Let me play for you guys what the General Secretary, Dennis Chung, has said in this matter. Showman in general, do you think it benefits a Caribbean team like Jamaica and the senior side of the national team? The next World Cup is going to be in the United States to help them qualify. Well, it helps because it's three automatic spots outside of USA, Canada, Mexico, and two intercontinental playoff berths, which is five spaces for CONCACAF if those two intercontinental berths come together, and it would be eight cumulatively. But Suriname, Curacao, they're coming. They are coming. Best of luck. Hopefully we see each other in Peru. We've got a tough group for under 17 called Algeria, Senegal, Congo. As update, it would look it would be nice to see Jamaica, Somalia. Honestly, it would be great, great, great. Let's hear what the General Secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation, Mr. Dennis Strong, has to say. Hi all. I have been advised last night at about eleven thirty-six that all players and staff have now arrived in Guatemala. Everyone is settling in well from last night. Uh, we were able to carry the away kits with us, which arrived in the island yesterday in Jamaica. And we were able to clear them and send them to the team um, with someone who was traveling, or staff member who was traveling after the, the last set of boys yesterday. So, yep, that's the situation. The last set of boys yesterday, um, but we were not able to print numbers on them. So we are attempting to do that in Guatemala. If we are not able to, then we will have to wear the home jerseys, which are there, printed with numbers and everything. 
So this closes off the chapter in the incident that occurred with the under-17 boys. And we are hoping that they do their best and they sound very excited to qualify for the under-17 World Cup this year. Thank you for the support, everyone. That was the General Secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation, Dennis Chung, speaking and confirming the arrival of the team in Guatemala ahead of the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. It kicks off today, but Jamaica gets into action tomorrow. MPEC TV, greetings. I hope you're doing well, sir. Youth Inspiration of Flitting. Good morning, Simon. It would be nice to see Jamaica and Haiti in the final two Caribbean teams. Yeah, it would be nice to see it. I agree with you there. It certainly would be a pleasant sight, absolutely. And certainly one to, to flourish and to look forward to, you know what I mean? So definitely, definitely a good look. But yes, guys, that's the latest as it stands right right now. Jamaica and the team have arrived. They'll have breakfast this morning. And then after breakfast, they'll have their physio work done. After that, they will definitely have training sessions. Within the afternoon, after training, they'll come back to the hotel, mentally prepare for the game, look over one and two clips, and then, of course, the game on Sunday, 5 o'clock Jamaica time. So, folks, that's the latest at this point in time. We'll give you a preview later today. All right, guys, thank you all so much for your support. Really, really appreciate it. If you haven't already, smash the like button. And after you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. I'm not trying to be negative, but the jersey is not being printed. That called lack of planning. We knew the tournament was being held since last year along with the dates. Couldn't Adidas have printed numbers on the kit? <sighs> really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate, honestly. What? <sighs> yes, Adidas could have done that. I definitely believe that that's something that Adidas could have done. So. That's what I'll say there, where that is concerned, you know? Certainly. Certainly Adidas could have done it. So. Hmm. What? <laughs> yep, Shavan says, go, go, let's go, boys. Oh, yep, so that's, that's that, folks. I'll do a preview later. For you guys and any other further updates i'll provide it as we go along all right guys thank you all so much for your encouragement support if you haven't already smash the like button and after you smash the like button hit the subscribe button all right guys see you soon this video is brought to you by andy gone nuts 100 guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door call 876-309-6128 that's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mm, truly refreshing. And crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471.